Hey everybody. Hello. Well, we just wanted to um, kind of give you an idea of what we're doing today. As you can see, we're kind of on this um, windy road through kind of a wooded area with a lake next to us on the left. This is kind of the road we have to take from Windermere Cove to get into town. It's a very pretty drive, about 15 minutes on this road. And we are heading over to Cathedral Caverns today. Yep, Cathedral Caverns State Park. Yes. So we will see what that looks like and what it's like. It's about a 40 minute drive 40 minute from our drive, place. Yeah. It's at 35 when we left, but I don't know what it'll really be. We'll see. But, uh, it be really Did I think I get so lucky? Think it'd be mine And now I can't imagine a life without you And every song that I write's about you Just thought you should know I'll never let you go Never in a million years uh, Never in a million years Honey, I've been thinking about how we've come to be found in this moment Makes it easy to believe Must be more to you and me Something magic And I must admit that every morning I wake up Either I must be dreaming Or I must be lost in love Never in a million years Tour parking. I walk down and take a gander situation. Hello. It's pretty here, that's for sure. Pretty cool spot. That was a sure a nice drive, wasn't it? the other way home. Oh, look at that. Let me go look. Oh, wow. That's awesome. That is cool. What is that? In? That's the cave. Is that lights down there? Yeah, they have lights and a rail and... Cool. Yeah, it's pretty what? neat. Three mile round trip walking tour of the world class show cave. Well, the tour was 20 bucks a person, right? And we're gonna go at two o'clock. Christy's being silly since we got <laughs> half an hour to kill. She's looking around and having fun. Leave me alone. <laughs> Our friend uh, Alyssa is terrified of snakes, so she would love this aisle right here. All these yeah, snakes she'd and freak out. Oh my gosh, look at those up there. That's like the biggest stuffed animal I've ever seen. <laughs> It'd be perfect for your parents' zoo, right? Oh no, he's cute. Look, the little, little beaver. beaver. <laughs> That's good. Look at this guy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you're strange. <laughs> the world's biggest Adiron Adirondack chair there. I can't even sit in this thing. If I sit in this thing, I'm gonna look like a weirdo. Yeah, we can all climb up on here. <laughs> Boy, that is no joke, man. It'd be really hard to... I mean, the fact that they need five steps to get up to it is an indicator of how big it is. Is this like a little gold panning station or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's not really running, operating. No. Over here. It's a big hole here. That's probably a cave that you're not supposed to be jump jumping oh, into. Well, I bet we can go look down in. It's just a big hole there. 
Chillier in here. <laughs> That's why I brought the jacket. In case we need it. Woo -woo! Don't do it. <laughs> Couldn't resist. That's pretty cool. Okay, in the 1950s and early 60s, during what they called the Cold War, several Alabama caves were designated as fallout shelters. Well, the cave might make a good <coughs> shelter in a rainstorm or tornado, but fallout, it kind of takes in air, and it yeah, does yeah. take in water, which would have brought the radiation in anyway. They had food and water in the cave for several thousand people, this is one of the original civil defense water drums I had back in the 1950s. Uh -huh. No, it would be kind of hard to do that in this case. Where are y'all from? Woodstock, Georgia. Oh. I grew up in Florence. Florence? Where are y'all from? Originally, Oregon. Oh. Wow. Means you to Alabama. Just traveling. Oh, we're, uh, we're, we're living up there full-time. Oh, okay. We've been living there for about a year. We're traveling full-time. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. It's almost uh, deceptive. It doesn't look like it goes down, but that's it's, water right there. That's water? Yeah. Oh, wow. That is crazy. It looks like yeah, it just goes down. Yeah, this water fills up when it rains. <laughs> water That's comes so heavy. Yeah, <laughs> super <laughs> crazy. No, there's no, nothing alive in this pool. First I kept thinking, what am I seeing? Now in this, we'll see the stream again. In the stream we have found cave shrimp and cave crayfish. And when we say cave, they're perfectly clear. They have no pigment. Huh. You can see their insides and they're blind. They have no eyes. Not in the cave. Okay, when Jacob Gurley came through the water patches on the other side, he came up behind these rocks. And this is the first thing he saw, and he called it Goliath. Goliath is what we call a column. It goes from the floor to the ceiling. It's 45 feet tall, almost 50 feet across, and 243 feet around the base. It's one of the largest columns you'll find in most caves. And if you look, you can see Goliath is still growing. There's some new calcite forming on the formation. Now this crack that you see goes all the way through Goliath. And it was formed during the 1811-12 New Madrid earthquake. That earthquake was so powerful, it would have measured about 7.9 on the Richter scale here in Alabama. It picked up the bed of the Mississippi River and changed the course, caused the water to flow backwards for several days, and they say they felt the tremors and it rang church bells as far north as Boston, Massachusetts. Wow. Now, if you look behind this, this is called a stalagmite. It might grow up. <laughs> Above it is a stalactite. It holds tight to the ceiling. And when they grow together, they form what you see behind it called a column. Now, those formations form mostly by dripping water where this formation that you just walked through called flowstone, it's formed by constant water flow over the rocks, leaving the minerals behind. Thing's no joke. Wow. So he swam through there. That's not ideal. <laughs> yeah. But it's something.
looked up here and thought that looked like a clay organ. And she said, oh my gosh, Dave, this looks like a cathedral. And that's where the name of the cave got changed from that cave to the cathedral. Now, go so look on these two formations. Can you see the sparkles? Yes. Those are gypsum crystals forming on the calcium carbonate. 